I, 29 male, found out about my girlfriend, 31 female, of 11 years affair and I am struggling to cope. My girlfriend and I have been together for 11 years and have one lovely kid who is 7 years old, as well as another child who is 15 years old from a prior relationship. We met when I was 18 years old, and I took on the burden of raising my stepdaughter as if she were my own. Our relationship, like many others, has had its ups and downs. I was in my early 20s and had never been in a long-term relationship. I made errors, and she made a lot more. However, I have been an honest, loyal, and loving partner for the previous five years. I determined two years ago to be as unselfish and compassionate to everyone around me as possible. I had certain things happen in my life at the beginning of the year that put me in a really bad place, extremely depressed. She was ideal in the beginning since she was always there for me. She created me a calendar to remind me every day how much she cared for me, and she got me a few sentimental items that helped me get through the tough times. I haven't felt like myself in 10 months, and I have admittedly retreated, but it was in the darkest times that I realized I wanted to spend the rest of my life with this lady, and I began to arrange my proposal. My partner was furloughed for the most of the lockdown, but she finally found a new job that made her happy. My fiancé began to drift away from me in the beginning of October. She no longer stated she loved me, no longer embraced or kissed me, and I began to have doubts. I spent time working on myself and our connection. When I was nearby, she would conceal her phone or swiftly depart WhatsApp. However, she began coming to the gym at the end of October, and one night her class was delayed for hours after she finished work. She said that she would wait outside until the lesson began. It made no sense to me. When I contacted her after work, she said she was in the vehicle. But her explanation was that she was working late at work and rushing to complete things before going to the gym. I activated Locate My iPhone to learn she wasn't where she claimed to be. She was standing outside another man's home. I asked her about it, and she lied, first claiming she was at work, then saying she was going to have a short cup of tea before class, until I finally disclosed that I knew precisely where she was because of the tracker. She complained that I had violated her privacy, and that I was some weirdo for following her every move, but she soon admitted that she was there to meet another guy. She had an affair with a guy at her new work. I invited her to come home and speak about it, but she declined and instead switched off her phone. After our chat, she invited him into her vehicle and they went to a nearby park and spent hours together. I walked over to his home and discovered that they were not there. When I recounted the scenario to his father, his sole answer was sounds about, right, he does this. She drove to her mother's home after that, continuing sending him loves and apologizing for going around to his house with the modicans. We eventually chatted, and she showed me the few messages she hadn't yet deleted. He was chuckling about how I nearly found out about their romance a few days before when she believed I was looking through her phone. I had not had chance to do this yet. I called him and informed him he was harming a seven-year-old girl, and he chuckled and said, I'm doing nothing wrong. I'm one man banned. We ultimately decided that she would ban him from everywhere and that she should quit her new job to focus on us. She revealed some of the other challenges we were dealing with, one of which being money. She would never tell me what type of financial situation she was in. She'd finally admitted to me that she was 400 overdrawn, with another 300 on the way. I was a fool who fell for the notion that she was finally telling the truth and gave her the 700. After a short time, she unblocked me from all sources and unblocked him. I'd had begged her to go to counseling, but she refused since she couldn't afford it. She spent the 700 to rent a hotel room with a guy with whom she had an affair, which costs the same as counseling. She claims that the previous 11 years have been a nightmare for her and that I haven't loved her or shown her enough attention. This is not correct. I'm a naturally loving person who lavished her with attention. I'd had a terribly bad 10 months, but I was finally beginning to feel better about myself. She refers to me as a narcissist, and we have a lot of FKU conversations with each other. Rejects the idea of shared custody. Last week, on the other hand, I had my daughter with me five out of seven evenings because she wanted to go see this person instead. I came away from every session with the impression that everything was my fault, that I was ineffective, and that I should have done more over the prior calendar year. She refused to sit down with the children to explain what was going on because she felt it needed to be done with her in order for her to be able to soothe her children and avoid them feeling abandoned by their father. However, owing to the fact that I have my child with me almost every night, this is challenging for me. 
It's unfair to her since she's asking specific questions about what constitutes cheating. It occurred to me as well why I should be forced to feel as if I had abandoned her. Why should we agree to it on her conditions when we don't have to? Rather than me, she was the one who made these judgments. To top it all off, I found out yesterday that the man she's chosen has a drug problem to the point that he's not permitted to see his current children and has just abandoned his ex-girlfriend because he got her pregnant and refused to abort the child they were expecting together. Thank you for your understanding if this is confused or all over the place. My head is a complete mess right now. Obviously there is more, but I feel this is enough. Thank you for your consideration. Story 2. Wife cheated and is doing the opposite of what I need. My wife, who is 13 years old, had an emotional affair. It's understandable that she didn't feel a lot of love from me since our marriage wasn't flawless. To cut a long story short, she left for five months to work in another state, and while she was away, we agreed to seek marriage counseling when she returned. However, in the months leading up to her return, she made contact with a former colleague who offered to help. My serious flirting came about via text messaging, and she has steadily revealed more and more details of her relationship with me. She lied to me about it the first time I inquired about it, and she has lied numerous more times after I discovered the truth about her actions. She says she takes responsibility and is contrite, yet she grows agitated if I request further information or express dissatisfaction with the situation. As a result, she has quit texting on her phone and only interacts with folks via Facebook Messenger and Instagram, and she deletes each and every message as soon as it is received or delivered. Her behavior is pushing her away, she alleges, and I confess that I have gone to great pains to keep track of what she is doing and who she is engaging with. When I explain that I wouldn't have felt the need to do these things if she had been more transparent, she laughs. Informing her friends and therapist of the purpose, she says that she has a basic human right to privacy and that she is being monitored to control her. Unless you're striving to save your marriage after an affair, I agree that you should be allowed to remain anonymous. My impression is that she's doing everything wrong. Dismissive she's and annoyed when questioned about the affair, she blames the affair on the marriage. She says things like it was just an emotional affair. She has expressed regret, and it seemed to be sincere at the time, but it has since been dismissed. It seems that she is gaslighting me as well, by telling me that my responses and obsessive tendencies are abnormal, that the issue is with me, and that I need to seek therapy to stop worrying so much. Everything I've read, on the other hand, suggests that these behaviors are typical and that the other person should be tolerant of my emotions. It's a little out of the ordinary for me to be committed to seeing this project to its conclusion. In spite of the fact that I was deeply in love with my wife, I was prepared to work toward repairing our marriage before the affair occurred. When it comes to fixing our marriage, I'm feeling like I'm on my own, and I'm forced to accept that my husband is having an affair while also accepting the reality that I will be less honest than I have ever been in our marriage. 